Пане президент Зеленський, прошу вас до слова. Тут велика група вас слухає. Thank you very much, President Malpass. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you very much. Managing Director, dear Kristalina, Vice President Dombrovskis, and all of us now are waiting for our Prime Minister. And dear ministers, secretaries, and heads of international financial institutions, thank you, thank you again. Thank you all for this meeting, for your work in this format. Uh, Ukraine is currently living through a storm of emotions. Yesterday, a video of the brutal murder of our soldier by the occupiers was shared by Russian sources. They are there in this video, are proud with their ability to kill. You have probably all seen it on the news and you know that Russian army tries to, to make this level of violence and atrocities a routine everywhere on Ukrainian soil. Every time when they do something like this, one gets shocked like for the first time and death brought by Russia must, must not become a usual routine. The long story of Russian impunity must finally stop. And I thank everyone in the world and all of you who help Ukraine to survive. But every day, every day we we'll lose our people, men and women, adults and children who die at the hands of Russia. Uh, please, would you please, I ask you now to honor with a minute of silent the memory of the Ukrainian soldier whose death the world saw yesterday and the memory of all of our people whose lives were taken away by the Russian invasion. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. It's very important for all of us. Uh, uh, dear participants of this meeting, Ukraine will prevail in this war. It is only a matter of time when Russian aggression is defeated, but the evil state should not have any chance to win with ruins. What is always the goal of a terrorist? To break life. If not to kill, then damage. If not to destroy, then to make suffer. Any aggressor who hates life, whether he acts at a state like Russia or within a terrorist group or a single degraded individual, any aggressor always enjoys when he destroys and when the ruins have to be repaired for decades. Thousands and thousands of facilities in Ukraine have been ruined thanks to the partners. Most of the expenses for maintaining a normal life have been secured for this year. But, but the basic needs for reconstruction remain open. It's housing, energy, transport, social and humanitarian sphere, public serv services. Recently, I visited the frontline regions and the regions of our country bordering Russia. It is so painful to see cities destroyed by terror, villages burned and fields dead, dead because they are mined. That's why supporting fast recovery is the part of counter-terrorism work by rebuilding what has been ruined we defeat the main goal of terror. We return the normal life. Uh, the second point, the assets of the evil state. For the first time in history, the world has such a vast opportunity to change, to charge the aggressor with compensation for damages. 
the one who is guilty of the unprovoked and illegal war. For example, the World Bank provided a new assessment of the losses and needs of Ukraine. $411 billion. Every day, Russia increased this account. The world has Russian assets of various types that cover such a level of losses. The world's potential aggressors are now looking. Will you do the right thing? It is realistic to confiscate Russia's assets as well as assets of persons connected with the ruling elite of the evil state to confiscate and direct so that life in Ukraine can be restored. Russia must feel the full price of its aggression. Ladies and gentlemen, Ukraine makes two appeals to you. The first one, priority needs for reconstruction. And I thank you. Thank you for the new program with the IMF, which is an important stabilizing factor for Ukraine. This will help us continue to fight. But in order for people to return to Ukraine, for the, for the aggressor to lose not only on the battlefield, but truly in everything we need, we need the approval of the support program to cover the priority projects of fast recovery. The total volume of such projects is uh, 14.1 billion US dollars. Our government officials who are now in Washington will present the details. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the second one, it's necessary to work on concrete mechanism for using frozen Russian assets to comp compensate for the damage caused by Russia. It must be clearly stated that the assets, including the assets of the Russian Central Bank, will be confiscated. It will be a peacemaking act on a global scale. Potential aggressors must see this and remember that the world can be strong. There may be different formats of solutions, but the faster and more effective the solutions are, the more reliable and long-lasting peace after, after this war will be. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there are no secondary front lines in this war. All of them require attention and trans. The financial front line in particular, we are doing our part and I am grateful to everyone who helps, but the fundamental decisions are up to you and, and I believe that they will be made. Thank you very much. Glory to all those who are now fighting for life and freedom for our people. Slava Ukraine.